Hi ladies and any fabulous gentlemen who are watching my channel. So today's video is going to be a kind of first impressions video of the new L'Oreal products that just came out. I want to say they're all holographic, holographic stuff, but it's not. Um, it looks like they have a new uh, Galaxy holographic um, line. There's a couple items, but then they've also come out with some new Lumi Shimmerista. Shimmerista. So I just purchased a couple things because I feel like everything is now holographic and shimmery and shiny and glittery and glammy and I absolutely love it. I Anything that shines or glitters or gleams, it's right up my alley. Um, so these looked super, super fun. So I picked up a couple items and just wanted to kind of give you a first impressions and show you what is new in the drugstore item. So I guess first stop or starting off, they came out with these um, infallible Galaxy Stick multi-use illuminating sticks. So they actually have, I believe, three colors. I ended up getting the one that's cosmic pink and astro blue. They do have, I believe it was a goldy one. Gold tones on me, it's not it just doesn't really work well with my skin tone so I picked up the two that I thought would work better with my skin tone these are retail for $9.99 each which to me honestly a little bit pricey but they are super fun so I just wanted to swatch for you I'm gonna try to make this a pretty big swatch so you can see so this is the cosmic pink one and I don't know if the camera is picking up it definitely has kind of a, a pinky gold hue super super pretty and it actually feels when you blend it out it blends really really well it kind of melts into the skin um, and just get the holographic gleam to it so this one is the astro blue I'm gonna do it right on kind of on top of my hand next to the cosmic pink so that top is the cosmic blue so it just has a really pretty blue sheen to it and the formula is the same as the other one it really does kind of glide and melt into the skin it's really really pretty the problem I have and I haven't played with these yet and I'm super excited to is actually wear powder especially on my cheekbones because I do set my eyes because I do put an ungodly amount of concealer under my eyes so I don't know how it's going to compete with with um, powder products but I'm gonna go ahead and just we're just gonna put this right over on top of my powder and see yeah not the best it definitely blends out really pretty on my hand without having anything on it but kind of going over the powder that I already have on my face it's um, accentuating the my pores and stuff like that which I don't have a lot of texture which it's not this it's not the sixth fault because I'm putting it over powder powder which is a big no-no um, but I definitely am gonna have to play with it as far as my makeup routine and see um, how I can get it to work uh, with the powders and it could be just I just put it on and then just put a setting powder over it so those two are again really really pretty they do have like I said I believe a gold one um, which I did not pick up because it just does not will not go well with my skin tone so kind of sticking on to the highlighter thing, I did pick up two of the uh, Lumi Shimmerista, Shimmerista. These are Illuminate Highlight Strobe Powders. So this one actually I picked up uh, Sunlight and then this one is Moonlight. So picked those two up and again the Sunlight one I'm a little nervous about because I don't think that it's going to go really well with my skin. So these bad boys uh, go for $11.99. You do get a very deep, a good amount of, of powder in there. The one thing that I will have to say, which is a kind of a little nitpicky, I know, but they have such a big package, but the powder literally stops like right there. Um, so it's like, I feel like, did something fall out? I just feel like they could put it all the way up to the top or closer to the top so I don't feel like I'm being gypped out of the powder. I know, it's super, super nitpicky, just nitpicky, um, but I just feel like with something lost in the mix. But again, these are $11.99, so I'm just gonna swatch these with my hand onto my hand, and I've wiped off the other stuff. So this is kind of what it looks like on my finger. This is the sunlight one. Ugh, that 
is super, super pretty. So I don't know if it's picking up. This actually isn't too bad with my skin tone. Um, I don't know if I could get away with it with a highlighter, but I think it would be super pretty as a eyeshadow. So let me go ahead and swatch the Moonlight one. This is definitely more cool tone, more icy. You can see here, this color matches much better with my skin tone. I think I'll be able to get away with this as a highlighter. Um, let's go ahead and try it out. But let me just... Yep, yeah, that is super stroby. Woo! Yeah, so that is very, very bright. Very, very pretty. A little bit definitely goes a long way, but it's really nice. Let me see. I want to try this sunlight. I've got like globs of eyeshadow on already but I really think this will be pretty and yeah so this as a eyeshadow the sunlight I absolutely love it it's definitely will go with my warm tones and stuff and just gives that really pretty shimmer so I'm actually really really liking that so like I said these retail for $11.99 um, and I don't know let me see real quick. Yeah, they only have two colors available in that line. So next is lip glosses. So they do actually have three lip glosses they came out with. Um, and I'm a little disappointed with myself that I didn't pick up the third one. I ended up getting the Sapphire Star, which is a really pretty blue color. And then I ended up getting the Opal Light, which is just kind of a, um, a white cream color. They do have a purple one, which... I absolutely love purple, but I felt like I had too many that were purple, which now looking at it, I realize I don't. I should have picked it up. I probably will. Um, but let's go ahead and swatch them and see what they look like. So this one, again, is the blue one. This is the Sapphire. Oh. Sapphire Star. So... Doesn't have a lot of pigment. I don't see any of the blue that's being picked up. It does give a really, really pretty sheen, shine to it. I actually see gold in it. Um, when I kind of move my lips, I see kind of a gleamy gold, which is really, really pretty. But what I like about it is it's not a sticky lip gloss formula. You know the ones where you like are talking and then there's like that semi millisecond of like where your, your lips are being, you know, cakey and slimy this is definitely more oil based it's not sticky at all all is very very comfortable on the lips so i'm really really liking that one and with the opal light <clears throat> huh so this one hmm So I don't see much of a difference between the two colors. I thought maybe this one would have more of it, but I don't see any blue in it. But what is interesting to me is it almost is, I wouldn't say the formula between the two is super different, but the blue one is definitely more oily based. It's much more comfortable on the lips. I feel like the opal one, though I wouldn't describe it as sticky, I would describe it more sticky than the blue one. Um, between comfort level, I think the blue one just feels more comfortable on my lips. It doesn't feel tight. It doesn't have any stickiness at all. Where I feel like the opal one kind of is heavy on my lips. It's not as comfortable and it has a slight stickiness. It's not as bad if you're somebody like me who does not like sticky lip glosses at all. This is definitely something that you can still wear and not it won't irritate the crap out of you. But between the two, I think the, the blue one is much more comfortable to wear as far as the stickiness goes. Color-wise, I feel like the opal had a layoff. I see a little bit more gleam, whereas the blue one, it was kind of like your lips, but better kind of gleamy. But this one, the opal one, has a little bit more color. So, interesting. 
Okay, so they came out with three eyeshadows, and the the one that I wanted the most is this purple one. This is in Moon Kiss, so it's a purple holographic. This is the Gal Galaxy Holographic Lumineer eyeshadow. So this is the purple one in Moon Kiss, and that is the one that got damaged. So I definitely will be returning that to Ulta. But I the other two, um. This one is Full Moon. This is kind of a white one, and I know that in the package it's like literally you can't see anything. And then this one is Crescent Moon. It's kind of a taupey brown. So I wanted to swatch them real quick for you. Graphic. These retail for $12.99, and again, this is the Full Moon right there. And it actually, when I swatch it, it has a gleamy gold undertone. So it's kind of white in the packaging, but when you swatch it, it has, it picks up a lot of like a gold undertone. This one, um, the Crescent Moon one, which is that taupey brown one, this is what it looks like swatched. It's not as the full moon one. Yeah, and it's not really kind of, it's not really showing up on my skin tone. So I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that, if the camera's gonna pick it up. It's a barely there color. It's got a slight blue hue to it, but with my skin tone, it, you really can't see anything. So, yeah, that's interesting. Maybe somebody who has a little bit darker skin tone, it might be a really pretty highlighter for you, or like inner corner, but on me, it's just really not picking up at all. So let me clean my hands. Let me try to carefully open this purple one. So again, this is the Moon Kissed one. I just have a thing for purples, maybe because my eyes are green, but this is the purple one. So it does have a slight, like, little gleam of a blue undertone, but it's just a really pretty lavender, and I think for the eyes, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Let me just try it real quick. Now, mind you, this is super chunky. And I've got, yeah, it's not even going to pick up on my eyes. Maybe a little bit. I've got like a gazillion other colors, so you can barely even see it. Hmm. But I wanted to try the Moon Kiss and see if, how it would look kind of as a highlighter. So yeah. So I feel like with these, they definitely, with the eyeshadows and even the um, Shimmerista highlighting powder, I feel like they're dual purpose. So I, I definitely think the eyeshadows you can use as a highlighting powder, so they you could definitely use them on the eyes or the face. With the same with the strobing powder, um, I put it on my eyes. I think it looks really, really pretty, the sunlight one, but it also kind of doubles as a highlighter. So if you're somebody um, who likes multitasking things, you, these, I think, will go a long way. I still kind of have to play with the multi um, use illuminating stick to see, but it's kind of a fun product. Let me see. So that's it on my lips. It just leaves, your lips are so chapped, a really pretty kind of sheen to it. And it definitely has a balmy feeling, um, but comfortable. There's a slight grit to it. Um, I, wow, I'm like highlighting, whoo, highlighting gone wrong, highlighting gone wild, um, but it actually is really, really pretty. Hmm, interesting. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I just thought these products were super fun. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you tried any other products below. Until next time, bye.